I, uh, One more shot, you know, just to say goodbye, say I love you, say thank you, respect you, but, you know, I have a feeling he's watching, he's listening. I know my dad will be saying, kayfabe the tears. (laughs) Uh, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank everyone for coming so generous with your time and uh, being so caring and kind with your condolences to me and my family. We thank you. Thank you to everyone who came up here and really gave beautiful tributes to my dad, to our dad. You know, you try and you think about, well, what am I going to write? And this is, you know, you don't, you, you don't know what to write for a eulogy. It's your dad. You don't expect it. As you guys know, you know, he went very quick. I was on my way to work the other day on January 15th, and I was just pulling into work. And we were shooting that day, and it was the very first day of production. And then I get a call from my wife, Lauren, who said, you know, hey, I just spoke to Cora. It seems like something's going on with your dad. And um, Lauren was with our... Uh, She was, uh, she was with our babies, she was with my mom, and uh, she said, you know, I really can't talk. She goes, I, I think you should call Cora, though. So, of course, I called Cora. Cora, you know, she broke the news to me, and I, right when she broke the news, I was literally just pulling in. I'm looking at <clears throat> the whole crew, hundreds of guys and women milling around and carrying equipment and waving at me in the truck and waving back, and <clears throat> it all got really foggy, and it seemed like it was just a big dream. And you know how you have those moments, you try and <clears throat> shake yourself out of it, and no, it's not a dream. Uh, my dad's gone. And um, in that moment, I just thought, well, what do I need to do? What, what's the next thing that I need to do? And I heard a voice say, um, well, hey, the show must go on. And, uh, and that was my dad. <clears throat> that was my old man who told me that. Rocky Johnson, the tremendous athlete. Man, just in fantastic condition. You know, the wrestling community is a very tight community. It's a global business, but it's a very, very tight community. And um, they believe in the show must go on. You know, this idea about the show must go on, it just reminded me of, you know, what my dad was and what he represented to our business and to our wrestling business and something that uh, you know we're all very proud of because many of us are in this wrestling business and it is in your blood and once it's in your blood it never goes away the phrase of uh, of um trailblazer is uh connected to my dad's name it means when you do things that have never been done our uncles who were so proud of afa and sika you guys are trailblazers never been done. From the Isle of Samoa, the Wild Samoans. My grandfather, Peter might be a trailblazer, never been done. Oh, Kogan, trailblazer, never been done. The Hulk, he is enormous. My dad, Rocky Johnson, trailblazer, never been done. When you do things that have never been done, but, but impactful things, and things that actually move the needle in an industry. And he did that. You know, this man did that. The other side to it that I wanted to point out that I thought was important to say is that when somebody's a trailblazer, that means that they've actually, 
they have the ability to change behavior and, and audiences behavior people's behavior and for my dad when he broke into the business in the mid 60s and throughout the late 60s and into the 70s in the United States where racial tension and, and divide was very strong and in the 60s and the 70s you have a black man coming in it's a it's an all-white audience there he is good looking dude wouldn't you say and all these small little towns that eventually I would go on to wrestle in but at that time changed the audience behavior and actually had them cheer for this black man a man that has been a top star all over the United States for the past decade introducing Rocky Johnson <laughs> Is he excited or is he? And not when he was wrestling against other black men, because he was usually the only black guy in the territory. He was wrestling against other white wrestlers. And I thought that was really unique, and I thought that was really powerful, and I thought that it deserved to be said. And that's what this man did. You know, we celebrated and um, we gave honor to Dr. Martin Luther King yesterday. And um, I woke up this morning, and my heart, of course, is heavy. But there was a lightness to it that I thought, wow, you know, it's very appropriate because, you know, my dad fought for racial equality at a time where it was needed. We are the first black tag team champions of the world ever. We want it for all of our friends and all of our people. I thought Dr. Martin Luther King would be very proud of my dad. When you think of my dad's name, you think hard work, you think barrier breaking, you think, you know, that being the hardest worker in the room, always working out taught me how to work out when I was a very, at a very young age. Hard work, discipline, um, those are things and tenets that, that are synonymous with my dad's name. What's amazing to me now, after a day like today, after we come here and we give our respects and our love, he's galvanized, he's responsible for galvanizing families now and families coming together just a bit closer because you know through processes like this, and we all go through this, we all go through this. We've all lost loved ones, but guaranteed when we walk out of these doors, we're going to hold each other a bit tighter. We're going to hug each other a bit harder. We're going to kiss each other. We're going to say, I love you. Um, and we're going to be a little bit more present. And I think that's the beautiful irony about my dad and all the things that his name is synonymous with <laughs> all over the years. Now his name is synonymous with the power of love and bringing people together. It's very appropriate for the soul man. I wish your soul at rest and at ease. Uh, there's no more pain, no more regret. I'm sorry, just give me a second. Thank you for bearing with me, just give me a second. I'm so happy he had friends, a place like this that he could come to. And all of you who have been in his life and all of you have said really wonderful things, all the messages that you've sent me. He would be very happy at this. It would make his heart full. This isn't goodbye. This is just, uh, I'll see you down the road. We'll see you down the road. I thank you guys so much for your time and your love. I love you all. I thank you. We love you all, my family. Thank you guys very much. And uh, I'll see you down the road, soul man. carry the family name you carry your grandfather's name you carry my name and I sat in that crowd and I watch you and I was so proud my dad was a hero to me he was larger than life legendary matches I witnessed as a kid 
He was able to cross all lines and become one of the most dynamic and formidable performers of his time. It is my great honor to welcome my dad, Rocky Johnson. I would like to be remembered for paving the road for all athletes, no matter race, color, or creed.